press the bell icon on the YouTube app and never miss another update. Ladies and gentlemen, please settle down quickly. We have the Indian captain with us. Just ensure that your phones are in silent mode. Raise your hand and upon my cue and please stick to just one question. Nagraj. Virat, this is your, in your first ICC tournament, you've reached the final and leading now the team. Uh, what are the things that you've learned during this tournament as a captain? The range of emotions that you have to control, the sort of limelight, the sort of distractions, etc. And then going into the match like tomorrow, what are the things for you that you need to prioritize? Uh, the biggest learning is to stay off social media. <laughs> that's, that's honestly, I mean, it, it sounds funny, but it's so important to stay away from those things, to connect to the things that uh, that matter, uh, the things that uh, a sportsman need to take, needs to take care of. Um, you know, connecting with yourself within, you know, taking a bit more time to do stuff which you don't normally get to do, and stay away from everything. It's it's tough, but you have to make that sort of effort to stay in a good uh, zone and a good mindset. To, to play, to be happy playing second fiddle um, in a big tournament like this throughout in all the games to be, uh, you know, thinking about bouncing back after a setback. All those things I've learned a lot, um, how to handle certain things. Um, and that can only happen when you're able to connect with yourself first. Uh, if you're too distracted listening to too many suggestions or, you know, praise or criticism, then you can't focus on what you need to think as a sportsman first to be able to lead the team and then help the others in the team as well. So, yeah, that's probably been the biggest learning to be able to maintain that balance um, nicely uh, has been a, a good thing for me. Thank you. Yeah. What steps have you taken already to take your players away from the pressure cover? Um, we've never... Um, Till now, we haven't spoken of the semi-final in any different way. We haven't spoken about this game in any different way. We've practiced the same way from the first day we came here. Even today's practice was absolutely similar. There wasn't any drop of intensity or something extra, or there was no overexcitement. People are just doing the normal things that they do in any practice session, and um, that's the kind of approach we have maintained throughout the tournament. And as I said last time, it's just another game of cricket tomorrow, and. Whatever the result, we have to go forward and play more games after that. So the more relaxed you stay in, in these kind of situations, it's, it's a good thing because it helps you take better decisions when you're composed and calm mentally. And you can help the team you know, come out of, of difficult situations only if you're thinking in, in that fashion. So we've, we've changed nothing from the first day we came here, honestly. Thank you, sir. Go ahead. Go ahead. Virat, uh, you have always performed well in pressure games. You mean right from the World Cup? You've always beat World Cup final. Whenever. What did you tell youngsters? What is the key in performing in high pressure games like this as a batsman and also as a captain? I feel, uh, I, I feel it's. I mean, everyone knows after you reach a, a, a stage in, in a tournament like this. You can't basically work on your technique techniques uh, anymore, and um, you know, with the ball or with the bat. It's how you think about the game and how you prepare for um, big games. Um, as you said, um, you have to believe in yourself no matter what. You know, the the ability to think otherwise in a difficult situation is something that sets you um, apart in that situation and actually pulls the team through. So if you're if you're thinking we're three down and you know I might get out, then you will get out. If you're thinking we're three down, I'm going to counter attack and get the team back on track. Um, it ends up happening because you're convinced about it. So that's something that I work on. I visualize a lot, and I, I see myself in difficult situations and actually convincing myself that I can pull the team out 
um, you know, in those situations. And it won't happen um, every time, but eight out of ten times it will end up happening because you're so convinced about it. So I think it's it's how you prepare mentally is is uh, key in big games. That's something that that I've worked on, and it's really worked well for me. Every time I've visualized and I've I've thought positively about the big games. Virat Bhai, जब से आप बल्लेबाज के तौर पे कमान संभाला इंडिया का नंबर वन बल्लेबाज बने या फिर जब कप्तान के तौर पे आप कमान संभाला देखा गया है कि सिर्फ दो मैच छोड़ के हर बार हम पाकिस्तान के खिलाफ जीत मिली है टीम इंडिया को तो क्या खास वजह इसका क्या रहा होगा देखिए हम तो हर मैच जो खेलते हैं वो जीतने के लिए खेलते हैं स्टेटिस्टिक्स और रिकॉर्ड्स और जो पहले हुआ है उसमें हम बिलीव नहीं करते ना हम कभी उस चीज़ के बारे में सोचते हैं हमारा एम यही रहता है एज अ टीम हम अच्छा एक कंप्लीट क्रिकेट मैच खेलें और रिजल्ट हमारी तरफ हो हर टीम का वही इंटेंशन रहता है तो आप किसी भी मैच में ये सोच के नहीं जा सकते हैं कि पिछले मैच आप कितनी बार जीते हैं उस ऑपोजिशन से इस गेम में मैं कित मैं ये काफ़ी बार कह चुका हूँ इस टूर्नामेंट में कि किसी की किसी टीम के पास कोई गारंटी नहीं है जीतने की और क्रिकेट ऐसा गेम है कि जो भी टीम उस दिन अच्छा खेलेगी जो टीम अच्छा प्रिपेयर करके आएगी और अच्छे फ्रेम ऑफ माइंड में रहेगी वो दूसरी टीम से बेटर परफॉर्म करेगी और जीतने के चांसेस ज़्यादा हो जाते हैं तो आई थिंक उन चीज़ों पे फोकस करना हमारे हाथ में तो हम वो करते हैं हम पास रिकॉर्ड्स पे और और स्टैटिस्टिक्स पे ज़्यादा नहीं ध्यान देते Playing, playing against a team like uh, maybe apart from a Muhammad Amir or a Hafiz or Shoaib Malik, most of them are unknown entities. Does it at times also makes it easier because there's too much analysis? You can play play freely because you do. You're not dissecting each and every opposition. It really depends on individuals how they want to um, prepare against certain um, players in the opposition. I have never believed in watching too many videos of anyone. I prepare the best way I can. I, I believe in my abilities, and I feel like if I'm if I'm if I'm good enough, if I'm technically good enough, I should be able to counter any bowler that's bowling to me. You know, I don't take extra pressure thinking he's bowling from here. What if he doesn't do that in the game? So I I think of those things. Um, I like to go by what I see coming out of the hand, and um, yeah, I mean whether you have played people before or you haven't, this game. you as i said you cannot guarantee a performance you know even the bowlers that you play regularly on a tour or a series two matches you will be on top of him third ball he can, third match he can nick you off so it's basically how um, you react to every ball that's bowled to you regardless of whether you played against the guy or you haven't you have to be good enough to counter it and that's the mindset we've been playing with in this tournament and we're going to try to continue the same thank you sir last five sir Vera, how how relevant is the first game that you played at Edgbaston between yourselves and Pakistan? And are you confident that this final could probably showcase again the best of Pakistan and Indian cricket together, given that you don't play series against each other? That perhaps a, a positive message for the future could be there too. Um, I don't see any relevance of the first game here because um, you can never tell how a particular team starts a tournament. some some teams start very confidently and then they fade off some teams might not have the best starts and they come back amazingly which pakistan has done so everyone is aware of the kind of talent they have in their team and on on their day they can beat any side in the world uh, that's the kind of players they have and that's the kind of ability they have in their side so we're quite aware of that um, but at the same time neither are we uh, to intimidated or nor, nor are we too arrogant about what we are doing it's important to maintain the balance of being confident in your own skill and and what you're doing as a team um yeah i'm i'm sure it's going to be a very good um you know very well con contested match um both teams obviously want to win the final uh, they worked really hard to be where they stand in 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 the final and um i'm sure every player is going to come out and give their 120% and if 11 players from both sides end up doing that it, it's going to be exciting exciting encounter so no, i don't see any relevance of